Today we are making miniature recycled sketchbooks. These are completely customizable with whatever paper that you have around the house. You can cut it to fit inside whatever size sketchbook that you make. This sketchbook even has a pocket inside the front cover so you can keep anything that you want right inside your sketchbook. These are perfect for Earth Day, so let's get started. I've got some rubber bands. I have a box that was going to go in the trash. I've got some paper that I can use inside the sketchbook. And I've got a couple of magazines for decorating the outside of my sketchbook. Okay, this box used to have flowers in it and what I'm going to do is use it as the cover. So I'm very carefully going to open up the box all the way. Even the bottom, I'm carefully going to tear apart where it was glued. So now you've got the box opened up all the way, it's just cardboard. So I'm going to take some scissors and cut off all these flaps. Make sure you're really careful and you cut right where the box was folded. As long as you follow the line and aren't too crazy, this should be really easy. Part of recycling is using things in different ways. You can even use these scraps that we're cutting off of the box right now for a different project. Use your imagination to think of what you could make with these scraps. So this could be folded right here to make a bigger sketchbook. And of course I want the plain brown on the outside. So that's one option. You could decorate right here on the front. When you're making your own sketchbook, sometimes the size of your sketchbook depends on the size of your paper. Here, I just have some regular printer paper and I am measuring it to fit inside my sketchbook. I wanna make sure there's a bit of an edge. This will allow the cardboard cover to protect the paper inside the sketchbook. Right here, I'm just folding over the cover. I'm gonna use a pencil to mark the paper. I'm just marking the bottom so I know where to cut the paper. That's how wide I want my paper to be, how tall, so that there's a bit of an edge of the cardboard cover protecting the paper inside. Right here, I'm just gonna cut my paper so that it's the right width. Now I'm gonna fold my paper in half. When we get done, the rubber band is what's gonna hold the paper inside the sketchbook. Take your rubber band, 
open your paper up to the fold and match the fold of the paper with the fold of the cover. Put your rubber band around the middle, right there in the fold, and then close your sketchbook. Your paper is held in there and you can always add more paper if you need to. That's one way of doing it. But this cover seems a little bit big to me. So I'm gonna cut right here and make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Set that aside for something else. Now, it doesn't fold exactly the way it did before, so I've got to help it by making a new fold. You can use any part of your, the heel of your hand. You can use your fingers. But you want to make sure it's a nice crease. I'm going to use this glue stick to help me get a really nice fold. Fold it so that the cardboard is outside again. And there we go, a smaller cover that fits our paper better. Put the fold of the paper back in the fold, the crease that we just made. Use our rubber band again, putting it back in that middle fold. And there we go, our sketchbook is pretty much done. Now this brown is something that you could draw on, you could paint on, you could glue things on, and I think I wanna make a collage. So I'm gonna look through this magazine and decide if I want pictures, if I want colors, we'll see what I find. Ooh, I think I've got an idea. I think using all the colors out of this magazine, I might make a color wheel on the front. I'm going to flip through here and look for all the colors that I need. Here's one. Let's keep going. All right, let's speed this up. Watching me rip pages out of a magazine because I'm looking for colors could be pretty boring. So I'm looking for all the different colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, looking just for our basic primary and secondary colors. Looks like I've got quite a bit of options, but it does seem like purple is going to be a little bit hard to find. Purple, where are you? Ah, yes, there's some purple. All right, let me straighten up my little workspace here and figure out my colors. Now, these golf carts are pretty cool, but I'm not sure I can use them for this idea. I'll save them for later. All right, red, orange, here's some yellow, more orange. Set that one aside. Red, orange, yellow, green. Oh look, Earth Day. There's my blue. There's my purple. So now I've got all my colors. The rest of these pages I pulled out, I'm just gonna set to the side. Again, I can use them on a different project later. For now, I'm gonna start by cutting out pieces I can use to collage.
I think I'll keep the little gecko with his earth and maybe put that on top of my color wheel. Perfect for Earth Day. Now I'm gonna lay out my pieces. I'm not gluing anything just yet. I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want my pieces to go. All right, that looks pretty good. And I think I will trim around the gecko and put him in the middle. Let's see how that looks. him perfect for Earth Day and he fits perfectly inside the color wheel all right I think it's about time to start gluing some things down I'm actually gonna use this scrap piece of paper that I have and glue my color wheel paper onto that again another way of using a piece of scrap that you might throw away to make a piece of art remember in the art room we have a bucket big bucket full of just scraps. Art is a great place where you can learn to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Oops, got a little glue on the table. Be careful. All right, almost done. Notice the colors are in order, and it's time for the little gecko to be added. Ta-da! Now, I'm actually gonna cut carefully around, kind of in the shape of a circle, for our color wheel. When you're decorating your sketchbook, you can do whatever you like and use whatever you have available at home. That's what makes these personalized and individual just like each of you now I noticed that the crease needs to be a little stronger so I'm going to use the glue to help me make that fold nice and tight now remember your sketchbook is all about recycling and reusing things in a different way think about all these scraps that I have how can I use them in a different way? Maybe you'll see a project in the future where I've reused some of these scraps. Sketchbook is pretty much done now. You've got your paper inside, you've decorated the outside, it's all nicely put together. Here's the other example I showed you at the beginning. Notice I used the Zentangle that I drew and put it on the front. These can be made and decorated however you want. Be creative and remember, art is life.